Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba' Continuing on in our reading of the various types In our discussion of the various types of modesty That Shaykh al-Islam Ibn al-Qayyum mentioned Rahimahullah ta'ala We reached the ninth uh, the ninth type of modesty and he said Rahimahullah ta'ala the modesty of honor and dignity the modesty of the noble and prestigious soul if he does something that is beneath his caliber either by exerting himself or doing some random act of good he is modest despite what he is extended of himself with a type of modesty that is honorable and dignified and there are two reasons for this the first, as we have mentioned, due to his dignity and honor. And the second, his modesty in front of the one on the receiving end, as if he himself was asking for it. Someone who is generous finds it difficult to face the one on the receiving end due to the modesty and shyness he has in front of him. Then Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned the last, the tenth type of modesty. He said the modesty of an individual regarding himself. This is the modesty of the noble, honorable, and dignified individual due to him being pleased with the fact that he has some shortcomings. He prostrates himself out of modesty as if he has two personalities. He is modest with one regarding the other. And this is the most complete form of modesty. If the slave is modest regarding himself, then he is more likely to be modest in front of others. So this is a beautiful type of modesty, ayu al habba And this is the modesty that will draw us nearer to Allah by having shyness, realizing our shortcomings, and exerting ourselves in and prostrating before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with benefit from uh, these pearls of, of our salaf of this ummah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm nafiya wa rizqan tayyiba wa amalan mutaqabbilan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam